Samus Aran is an ex-police soldier turned galactic bounty hunter who was orphaned at a young age and raised to be a warrior by an ancient alien race. If that's not crazy and dangerous enough for you, she's also equipped with various types of armor, or suits, which not only gives her the survivability and sturdiness she needs to traverse foreign planets and battle life-threatening species, but is also adaptable to a myriad of weapons, functions, and forms. She has missiles, giant charge shots, plasma grapple beams, advanced scanning reticles, a morph ball transformation that drops bombs and gets her in and out of tight spaces, and a lot, lot more. A lot of Nintendo characters are quite good at saving the world and all that jazz, but Samus is unique because she is a girl. A 6 foot 3, 200 pound girl at that. But of course, we don't always see her that way, either because she's always hidden away in her suit, or because Nintendo simply didn't make her that buff in the rest of the games. But either way, she kicks way more butt, way more violently than the rest of the cast. Samus is a rock hard tank or at least as much of a tank as anyone can be in Melee. She's a defensive behemoth, being able to take hits with her beast of a crouch cancel and halting offensive momentum using her screw attack out of her shield. She survives to extremely high percents and also has the recovery to back it up, making her one of the most difficult characters to take stocks off of in the game. Her long range hitboxes can knock people out of the air before they can even reach her, and a vast array of projectiles allow her to pressure opponents and force them to make decisions from across the stage. All of these factors combined make Samus do what she does best, which is control space. Since her attacks are so strong, people are afraid of charging right at her, which allows her to further minimize the amount of options they have and cut off their escapes. The best Samus players do this with ease, making it feel like you have absolutely nowhere to go. Samus often falls into two drastically different modes, the aggressive, technical, and flashy Samus, who abuse all of her advanced techniques to overwhelm the opponent, and the patient defensive rock that's more or less impossible to hit without getting counterattacked. While some players fall into one category or the other, and others are somewhere in between, most solid Samus mains know how to flip the switch from one to the other at will. Sometimes they will be defensive until they get their first opening, then do everything possible to take the stock ASAP. Other times, they'll be aggressive right from the start, and then cool off once they gain a lead. Samus also has a lot of strange advanced techniques that are not only situational, but extremely difficult to pull off. While not all of these are absolutely necessary to learn, they definitely can help your game. Super wave dashes, bomb jumps, grapple tricks, and aerial interrupts can boost Samus up to very fast speeds, which do allow her to be on the offensive more often. Samus doesn't necessarily counter any character, but rather she has a fighting chance against everybody. In fact, most of the top 10 characters have at least a slight advantage against her. However, in all of her matchups, she has more than a fair shot at winning on any given day. Plup, for one, largely recognized as the best Samus in the world, uses her as a counterpick against certain Fox and Falco players, and Samus in general does very well against Ice Climbers. Samus has strong moves, but in certain matchups, she can have trouble finishing off her opponent's stuff. While Samus is fast at times with a quick wave dash and flashy advanced techniques, her aerial mobility leaves something to be desired. Her moves and projectiles give her a high range score, but they're not quite as disjointed as something like Marth's sword or Jigglypuff's back air. Samus has a ton of mix-ups and recovery options, and can get back to the stage from practically anywhere. However, at the very top level of play, it is possible to cover most, if not all, of these options. Samus doesn't survive off of the top any longer than most of the other characters, but otherwise, she can live practically forever. Samus' offense is not quite as consistent as other characters. While she can poke and throw projectiles while advancing forward, her otherwise main form of attack is often quick pokes and area denial. While she does have some tricks to make her stronger on offense, those are not exactly the core of how Samus' tend to play. Samus is easily one of the best defensive characters in the game. Her shield options are extremely powerful, breaking up any type of attempted offense, and her crouch cancel and quick wave dash can counter any type of attack and if she guesses her opponent's approaches correctly, her attacks will often stuff them straight up. Samus is your main if you love discouraging and slowing down your opponent's aggressive attacks. You don't need to play a lightning fast character, but still enjoy using flashy advanced techniques. 
You want to play a more patient and analytical game and be able to condition your opponents mentally. You would like to be able to turn up the speed and aggression at will if needed. But you still want the option to play lame and abuse simple techniques that will put your enemies on tilt. You're a weeb, uh, uh, Kellen? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know who put that there, but I'm not saying that out loud. 